Let us now look at the sixth model from time and work which is based on the distribution of wages. That is nothing but the amount which a group of person receives when they do a work together. So here we need to find out the individual shares of the persons. Remember friends always the distribution of the amount should be done in terms of capacity of the persons. That is nothing but we should find out the capacity of each of the persons and accordingly the amount should be divided among them. Let us look at the question here. A can do a piece of work in 15 days and B in 20 days. They finished the work with the assistance of C in 5 days and received rupees 45 as their wages. So what will be the share of each person? So as we can see here, the total amount which the three persons got is rupees 45. And we need to find out the individual share of these persons. As I've already mentioned, amount should always be divided based on the capacity of each person. That is nothing but the amount of work which they can do in one day. Now the first statement here is A can do a piece of work in 15 days and B in 20 days. So very clearly the amount of work done by A in one day will be 1 by 15 and that by B will be 1 by 20 because the number of days required by them are 15 and 20 respectively. Now we also need to find out the number of days required by C alone to get the answer for this question. So let us look at how to get the answer there. The next statement here is they finished the work with the assistance of C in 5 days. That means A and B together with the assistance of C. That means all the three persons now are working together and they finished the work in 5 days. So very clearly 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C should be equal to 1 by 5. So we can say that 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C should be equal to 1 by 5. So we can say that 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by C is equal to 1 by 5. So from this 1 by C will be 1 by 5 minus 1 by 15 minus 1 by 20. The LCM here is 60. So 5 goes 12 times, 15 goes 4 times and 20 goes 3 times. So 12 minus 7 is 5 by 60 which is nothing but 1 by 12. So very clearly the work done by C in one day is 1 by 12. So we can say that the capacity of A is 1 by 15, the capacity of B is 1 by 20 and that of C is 1 by 12. The capacity here is nothing but work done by each person in one day. So we can say that the ratio in which the amount has to be distributed among A, B and C here is 1 by 15 is to 1 by 20 is to 1 by 12 that is capacity of each of these persons. Now to simplify this ratio let us multiply the whole thing with 60 so that we get a proper ratio. So 60 divided by 15 will be 4, 60 by 20 will be 3 and 60 by 12 will be 5. So this is the ratio in which the total amount of rupees 45 is to be divided among the three persons A, B and C. So A is to B is to C will get the shares in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 5. So now using the concept of ratios we can say that the amount that A gets will be 4 parts out of total 4 plus 3 7 plus 5 12 multiplied by the total amount which is 45. Similarly B gets 3 parts out of total 12 parts multiplied by 45 and C gets 5 by 12 into 45. So 4 by 12 is nothing but 1 by 3 and 1 third of 45 is 15 rupees. So A should get 15 rupees then 3 by 12 is 1 by 4 and 1 fourth of 45 can be taken as 11.25 rupees that is 11 rupees 25 paisa and then the left out amount should go to C or we can say 5 by 12 into 45 is the amount with C. So 15 plus 11.25 rupees is 26.25. And total amount 45 minus 26.25 will be equal to 18.75 rupees. So we can say the amount with C should be 18.75 or we can simplify this part to get the answer. So these are the individual shares of the three persons among the total amount of 45 rupees. So friends remember only one point that the amount or rupees always should be divided in this case based on the ratio of their capacities or ratio of the work done by each person in one day.